Easter to everybody here um, on the YouTube channel. Thank you guys for subscribing and liking everything uh, that has come out so far. If you guys are watching this and are not subscribed, uh, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And uh, at the end of the video, if you do like it, go ahead and click that like button as well. Okay, so today we're going to be coming out with some new videos here. are going to be on performance psychology for people who are trading and uh, for also those who have just started out trading. All right, we're going to be touching up on a lot of different topics here, but mainly if you guys have any questions uh, that you guys want answered, just go ahead and pop them in to the YouTube channel or email me directly, and I'll make a video on it for you guys to touch up on trading psychology, being that this is one of the main focal points of trading. You're going to want to know exactly where uh, <clears throat> you're struggling uh, mentally, right? what's sabotaging your trading, and most of the time uh, with mentoring and coaching people, I do see that people get in their own head. Uh, they get in their own way. So today is going to be on the trading journey process. Um, and if you want to become a successful trader, what do you need to look to do? Right. So the trading journey process <clears throat> is one that weighs a lot in your mind and emotions. There are many characteristics you can spot in someone that has the ability to succeed. Uh, but with that said, you need to be strong minded to weather the roller coaster of emotions that come along with uh, the journey. Now, having a mentor <clears throat> to help you understand the fundamentals and technicals of trading. Yes, this will help you cut the trading curve journey, but only if you're willing to listen accept, adapt, and change, right? This is where I see a lot of people struggle is when you pull up a chart, say something like this here, the S&P 500 on a five tick range bar chart, um, immediately people, instead of wanting to understand the communication of markets, will want to immediately get themselves into a market. Now, this is a problem, right? Because when you're trading, you want to have as little emotion as possible, <clears throat> as you enter into the trade. However, if you don't understand the communication of the market, or what I like to call market structured movement, and you enter yourself into a trade, whether it be long or short, or you're trying to hedge a position, and you don't know exactly what's going on, what will happen is the market will give you a, situ a situation. It will demand a response from you almost immediately, right? And that response is going to be based off of something in your mind that you've already found successful, uh, whether it be in different situations, you're going to use that same response and apply it to the position that you've just taken, even if you haven't understood it. And you're going to be unconsciously aware that you're actually doing that, right? Because that's a bad habit that I see a lot of people do is they do this over and over and over again, not realizing that they're just responding based off of some previous response that they had in their past that worked out for them, right? It could be something as little as your fight or flight, meaning you stay there and you fight it out saying, you know, I hope this trade goes in my direction and you find yourself losing a lot of money or you exit the trade before it does go in your direction because you just didn't understand where the market was going to go from the position that you entered it. However, what you want to understand is that markets will always require you to make an immediate response when you enter in. This is why it's very, very hard for people to transition from a demo account or paper trading or sim trading into a live trading account. Because when they click that button, they now have to make an immediate response. Because if they don't, they're either going to lose money or make money, right? But that immediate response, you got to understand that immediate response has to be one that you understand. If you don't understand this communication of the market, when it goes down, when it comes back up, how you can capitalize on that, right? There should be no reason for you to enter the trade, right? <clears throat> if you find yourself doing this a lot more times than not, then you need to be able to take a step back and identify what you're actually doing wrong, right? Because if you're not becoming consciously aware of your bad habits, you're going to find yourself recreating them over and over and over again and you're never going to really find success in this business because well you're not doing anything different right you're still applying the same bad habits to the actual trading chart that you're on you lack the understanding of the communication of the market and you're still trying to enter in to make some quick money and trading is not about finding quick results right a market is not frustrating to understand 
what's frustrating to understand for most people is themselves, their emotions, their reactions, their responses, right? And a market has a lot to do with being able to reflect your true character and your true image when you actually step into it, right? It reflects the way that you would respond in a situation where you're uncomfortable. And uh, people don't like to hear that, but that's the reality of trading is that the only one to blame at the end of the day is not going to be everyone around you. It's not going to be the market that you're looking at. It's going to be you because you lack the understanding of what the market wanted to do or was trying to do. And you still entered yourself into a trade and you're no longer trading the actual market. You're trading your emotions. Right? So we want to be able to key in on this um, and help people understand that trading, yes, I can understand that the movement of markets, whether it be fast or slow, can somewhat hinder your ability to understand, you know, where it wants to go, right? And at those points, you do want to step out of the market and you don't want to put yourself into a position where you're not going to really understand or make a good response when you click that button, right? But when you do take the market, which moves randomly, and you start to see less random movement and you're able to capitalize on that, or what they like to say, apply your trading edge to a less random movement in markets, then you're going to start to see that it's a lot easier to trade with less emotion and to, to place logical, logically, uh, logical trades onto the market at that point. Excuse me. <clears throat> Right, but most times than not, when I see people who are trading and I mentor people or coach people, they almost immediately want to step into the market and get themselves into a trade without really understanding the fundamentals, the price action movement, the market structure. They got too much stuff on their charts. They got a whole bunch of indicators. They got a whole bunch of things that um, correlations on there. They got a bunch of other order flow tools that are just fogging or blurring their vision to what the market wants to do right so for me i like to trade where my chart is just clean especially in the beginning and then i'll add other things onto my chart to give me a you know create uh, more of an edge for me as a trader All right but if you don't really understand this movement here just clearly by itself it'd be pointless to put all that other volume profiles moving averages <clears throat> footprint charts order flow tools up on your chart because you're not going to be able to see clearly what the market is trying to communicate over to you, whether it wants to move up or if it wants to move down or if it wants to move sideways. How do you see that where when everything is blurring your vision? Right. So it's easier to keep that chart clean. That way you can make a logically sound trade based off of what you're actually identifying. Right. Uh, <clears throat> now. Now, um, this is not going to go too far in depth because we do have a, I do have a, psycholo a psychology, performance psychology um, structured course coming out here at Trade Pro Academy, which I think is going to be one of the biggest things for people, whether you're new to trading or you're struggling or you feel like you have a gap in your trading. Um, that performance psychology is not only going to touch up on the psychology of trading, but it's also going to give you the ability to understand how the market communicates, how you can draw yourself to reading markets correctly to identify where your best entries would be with less risk and high reward trades. Right? And that's what most people want is they want to know how, how little can I possibly risk with a massive amount of money that I can make. Right? And tr a trader's mental growth is, for the most part, based on their ability to overcome their psychological pain points. Each step in the process requires emotional and psychological barriers, but this is how you grow. See, anything under enough pressure either develops resilience or it cracks. However, just like diamonds are formed from constant heat and pressure, so are the best of traders. If you want to accelerate the growth of your trading journey, it will take a constant amount of pressure and relentlessness to do so. Pressure is developed one of two ways. Either you can create situations that will develop you as a trader or you can get an accountability partner or mentor to help you develop. But traders are developed based on being held to a specific standard of action and result. Each day in markets, there are, there are going to be many opportunities presented to trade. However, not every opportunity should be taken, but an action will be required. Whether the action is to get in, to get out, or to stay in, one of those actions are going to be required. 
And most times our actions are based off of our emotions, which are triggered by a situation that affects one of our senses. Uh, so we want to be consciously aware of that because you don't want to have to take action because you click the button in an area where you're just not understanding the market communication. That action more times than not will, will make you lose money, right? So where I see a lot of people come back to me and want mentorship and coaching, those people have struggled over weeks, over months, over years of finding inconsistency in their trading, uh, lacking an understanding of market movement uh, and just struggling to make money and always losing money. So by the time they get back to me to coach them, I not only have to teach them the right process, but I have to go and I have to readdress the bad habits that they have created <clears throat> in their mind right, and make them aware of those bad habits or those, those pain points so they can be able to identify it and do things to stop them when they do become aware of it. Right. And that's what's going to change. Right. So when you see a lot of people placing a lot of trades and, you know, those trades are called revenge trading, you'll see a lot of people who don't understand why they lost that trade. They'll immediately get back in, get back in, get back in. And after they lost a certain amount of money and they just don't want to do it anymore, they look back and most of their trades are clumped up into one area. Right. And that's how, you know, you're not trading the actual market. You're trading your emotions. Right. And that weighs down on you because the more times you lose a trade, the more time you're the more times your mind holds on to that fear and the way that it feels to lose that trade. That by the time you really know the fundamentals of trading, it still becomes difficult to place that next trade because you're holding on to what it feels like to lose so much trades. Right. And you're holding on to how much money maybe you lost and a lot of different things. Right. And so you become a successful trader what's going to what's going to help you succeed in this business well the answer behind that is actually change <clears throat> if you want to succeed here in this business then you have to be able to be willing to change right? you have to identify that that this is your business and with this business, your job is to identify and pursue opportunity even as you preserve your capital by taking calculated risks with such risk and uncertainty, it becomes very apparent why so many quickly struggle to sustain optimism, right? They struggle to keep a positive mindset because they find themselves putting themselves into more riskier positions and not understanding why they're doing that. <clears throat> Whether you yourself want to initiate the change or you want a mentor to initiate the change for you, it becomes a crucial aspect in trading. <clears throat> Far too often, those looking to find success in this field, initiate change by having no means of sustaining that change they initiated. Now, a really good coach or mentor has the ability to, to turn change into habit patterns, placing just enough pr pressure on you, requiring you to make new behaviors become second nature, right? And <clears throat> a lot of this, you know, we can relate this to something along the lines of, say, for instance, a weight loss program, right? Uh, if you... And most people implement a weight loss program, whether they want to uh, become healthier or stay healthy, <clears throat> they are implementing that program. However, the emotional need for this program, it usually only settles in when the severity of the situation gets worse and they and they really become it really becomes a necessity for change. Right. And so same thing with trading, unless you have identified the actual pain points or the bad habits and you are aware of them, right? And you have an actual need to change, right? So most people I mentor and coach, whether it be in group coaching or London sessions or one-on-one, -on -one, unless you have that actual necessity or need for change, you're, you're still going to struggle, right? Because it's that need for change that drives the momentum and the motivation in that direction for you to pursue and hit that goal that you have, right? So if you're talking about like an example of a health issue, <clears throat> right, it, or a weight loss program, if, you know, most people implement it, but they don't find themselves doing it every single day, right? Except you know, when they're feeling really sick, all of a sudden they go to the doctor and the doctor tells them that they have some medical conditions such as diabetes and they really need to work on their health, right? That becomes a necessity. It becomes a need to change. Now that weight loss program <clears throat> is different in their eyes. 
Now they're sticking to the plan. Now they're doing things to make sure that they become healthier. Same thing with trading. You want a healthier trading plan. You want healthier rules. You want to have success and find consistency. Then wrapped around those rules, you need to have a necessity for change. Struggling in that area of finding that consistency for change, then you're going, you know, I mean, you can put things in line to help you to grow, right? <clears throat> and put pressure on you and to, to get you where you want to be. And if you still struggle to do that, then by all means, uh, you can come see me. You can come see one of the coaches here at Trade Pro Academy. And if you're struggling with performance uh, psychology and how to identify these things in markets, by all means, uh, come and see me as well. I'm an extremely good coach. Uh, I can get you where you need to be in a smaller period of time. I do believe firmly in the fact that if you can find somebody, uh, whether it be a coach, a mentor, you know, somebody that is an accountability partner that really knows what they're doing and what they're looking at, and um, you are able to become transparent and show what you're doing wrong uh, to them, then it will help you to grow. Right. So if you guys have any questions uh, that you guys want me to answer on these performance psychology videos um, go ahead and you can email me or you can send them in uh, here at youtube again my email is david at tradeproacademy.com you can come visit trade pro academy and you can link up with me and do a coaching call with me and it's um i'm very good at identifying what people are doing wrong or their bad habits and helping them grow and overcoming them and becoming successful in trading i've done it far too many times uh to really count on any of my hands Right? And I've seen a lot of people grow <clears throat> and get to where they want to be, you know, not just making four or five hundred dollars, but making massive amounts of money within hours. Right? So, again, you can email me um, or you can post any of your questions here on YouTube. But uh, I will be coming out with these videos every Sunday. That way it prepares the mind for the week. Uh, for you guys and I'll be touching on, on any other psychology things that you guys have uh, but thank you guys again if you did like this video please go ahead and hit that like button if you are not subscribed to the channel yet go ahead and subscribe to the channel uh, we will catch you guys later have a great Easter Sunday take care